Hey, this is Mike. I'm just checking out this 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan. Uh, this is the SE trim level. And uh, so this is a fairly basic van. Doesn't have a huge amount of bells and whistles, but it does have you know, a pretty good amount of value. It's got the stow and go seats and uh, a lot of interior um, design features that I think that's useful for just about anybody. So this one is in, in silver, billet silver. And um, you can see it has the you know the basic overall you know look of the Grand Caravans, and you see it has steel wheels with hubcaps, so there's not a lot of luxury going on there, but it is adequate. And here in the front, we've got your just halogen headlights. There's no projectors, nothing like that, and then you don't have any fog lights. You have a chrome crosshair grill there. No luggage racks. Inside the van is where all the the convenience features are. I mean, it does have the the black and tan interior, and it has like a. I'm pretty sure that's a a fake wood grain here going on. And this is not like a. You can get like a work van that this even more plain than this, but this one's a little bit a little bit fancier, I guess you can say. Does have manual seats, black seats, cloth. Got a storage compartment there, as well as a glove compartment down here. And it does have a, a USB plug in the back of the storage compartment. And these are manual doors, so there's no buttons on the remote to, to open them up and close them and all that but let me just put the seat up a little bit all right I'm just gonna hop in here to kind of show you some of the features for the uh, the back seat drivers you know so while you're back here you have a you have a bottle holder there you have the ability to open and close the door. You have a lock. You also have the ability to roll down the window to right there, which is pretty cool because it kind of relieves some of the claustrophobic feel that I get anyway when I'm in the back of a van and I can't roll the windows down. But, uh, you know, I can roll the window down. It's a big window too. So I can also adjust my climate control back here. And of course, these are stow and go seats, so they can fold down into the floor if you needed to have more cargo space. And you can do them individually. You also have vents back here in the, in the ceiling, so I can have the air blowing directly on me. I don't have to rely on the vent all the way over there to blow away back here, <laughs> like uh, back in the day. But, uh, you know, it just has a real plain console there not really easy to reach for like cups or anything but um it's got a net and it's easy really easy to slide up in the door if you ever the the ones that have the electric doors if you ever try to move them manually it's really hard but these are just like really easy to open and close sometimes i prefer the manual open and close doors just because they're so easy and they're quicker you don't have to wait on them. So I'm put this seat back. Alright, see what it looks like back here. It's very quiet. It is running now. So you can kind of hear, or not hear, the sound. And I know people are um, concerned about me running the vehicles, but uh, imagine just imagine the amount of time that's actually saved uh, by people not running their vehicles, trying to learn the features um, so they can watch this video one, one, one time running the vehicle and they kind of have uh, a really good idea on how to use their vehicle. So uh, I see it as a way of saving a lot of gas, not really burning it. All right, so back here, you've got this big storage area. Got a little pocket there. Here's where your 
your tools are to change the tire and the spare tire is actually underneath the front um, I'll show you when we get up there but it's underneath the front there's a place that you lower it on the ground but these seats here uh, basically if you want to wanted to fold them away they fold back but before I actually fold them down into the floor well let me do let me do this something else here let me unlatch them and pull them down so you can have a uh, so you can see that you can actually use them for tailgating You can also fold them down like so to where you can have a whole bunch of cargo space. And as you can see in the third row, you do have cup holders. It's kind of a little bit more comfortable in the third row because you've got all this, uh, you know, you can like put tablets and cups and all kinds of stuff back here. Unlike the second row passengers, they don't really have anything to put anything like that. They just got that net and maybe one bottle holder in the door. And everything else is pretty much out of reach. But back here you've got a pretty cool amount of stuff. I'm going to try to do a video at night. This has the little LED circles here for the tail lights fuel cap. It is a flex fuel vehicle, that's why it's got the big um, yellow cap, but basically the cap hangs there so it doesn't go down and, and scratch your, your paint. So over here, I just want to show you how, to, how easy it is to stow these seats down in the floor. Um, first step, is to put the seat all the way forward. Now if you got a power seat you gotta takes a little bit longer to do that. Under here this mat has little snaps you gotta it snaps in place. This one's already unsnapped so we just kind of reach and unsnap it. It looks like a big um, button. See that? So basically we get this this mat and just kind of get it out of the way and then there's this thing here that you lift up and you fold it up like so and then this whole thing will kind of lift up now you've got this big storage area here on the floor so if you want to use it for putting stuff in there so you can see it's pretty it's pretty deep it's really good for storing stuff when you don't have your your seats stowed away but as far as like stowing them away really I'm just gonna do this one finger <laughs> I'm going to go right here, lift up, step back so you can see basically the real hard, hardest part is all automatic because it's, it's kind of spring assisted so that way you're not struggling to, to, uh, to fold it up and all that. So once it's in this position, um, you basically just kind of push down and it's easier to push than it is to pull. And uh, so then you close this and you go like this. And there you go. And that's your flat surface there. And it's, the seat's completely out of the way, which is pretty cool. One of the disadvantages of previous year models is that you'd have to take the seat out of the vehicle and try to find a place for it. And then once you, you're done using your cargo space, then you need to put the seat back in. Then you got to lug this heavy seat back over, try to latch it in place and all that stuff. So this is a real easy way of getting the seats out of the way when you want them out of the way and real easy to put them back. So let me show you how to put it back. Just kind of unlatch that, fold it up just like before. All right, so now it's in there and it's got this handle. So I'm gonna just use like one finger because I'm gonna show you it's not very hard to lift up. You're not gonna break your back. See it's spring assisted and you get it up to this point here and that this is where you push down real hard it's not hard to do but you want to go ahead and snap it down in place and then you just lift this up and like I said it's easier to push than to pull so um, so once you get there you can lift your headrest up now the seats in place but we still have this floor to deal with close that down 
and then fold that down like that. And then you get your mat. Line up the buttons and snap them in place. A little bit easier to do it with two hands, but there we go. There we go. So now your mat will not, it's not going to move around on you. And your seat's secure. And you even have these armrests that come down too if you want to use them. So stone goes a really neat feature. All right, so there's that. Now here's the inside of the driver's door. And you've got some buttons here. One is that your side mirror is there. You could actually vent this, the back glass out, in and out. You see that? See how it give, kind of gives some, some air to flow through here for your third row passenger. So, so really, um, you can really get the air going in this vehicle. You can roll all the windows down and vent that. And uh, it's pretty neat. Of course you got your door locks and your window controls you can roll down the back door glass there and these these windows are not one touch they're you got to hold them the front ones are one touch down like so and then going up is one touch as well now if you bump it or something that stops then you got to hold it there we go Pretty much up and down is pretty easy to do with one touch. Sometimes some of the models there don't they go down but not up and stuff like that. But anyway, this one's working pretty good. Um, like even if you go halfway, and then you can stop it and then you can push it again. It goes all the way down. I like that. All right, and then you got your side mirror controls, which are heated side mirrors, by the way. Now we have this place here. This is um, pretty much anything you can put there, but people put umbrellas or um, it's really handy for, I think it's really designed for umbrellas, but you can pretty much put anything in that little spot. Here's your headlight controls and your dimmer switch. Alright, so inside the vehicle this is your steering wheel and this is a leather wrapped stitched steering wheel and very good comfort and it's kind of soft to the feel got some good thickness and here on the front of the steering wheel is a um, your cruise control you just got to make sure that the little when you push the on and off button that the little uh, icon is appearing there before you try to set it and you set it with the negative Plus is not going to do it. On the back of the steering wheel, on this side, is a volume control. Of course, the radio has to be turned on. And let me show you. You can go up and down. You can change to the stations on this side. So I can change. It's on satellite radio, which this van has. All right. So there's some some cool features there to keep your hands on the steering wheel. It also has Bluetooth, and you once you pair your cell phone with the with the system you can answer calls and make calls with this this button here voice recognition is a button for basically you push it and you can say certain commands and uh, like say tune to a certain station or call a certain person stuff like that and just below it this buttons here uh, correspond with this little itty bitty 80s calculator style readout and basically I'm gonna hit the step button and it's gonna give me miles per hour, uh, miles per gallon average, and uh, temperature outside, and how many miles the vehicle has, and then there's trip A, trip B, and uh, distance to empty. So basically if you wanted to reset a trip, there's a reset button below there. Alright, so here's the rest of your gauges. Real basic, simple, nothing fancy there. Um, there's your shifter and it is on the it is right here on the dash so that way it frees up a lot of area down here it frees up area for like a column shift or anything like that so basically it's just very easy to use put it in reverse and then once you get down on the drive 
you can uh, you know you, need, you can downshift if you need to or upshift uh, using the shifter like that so here's the radio it's a pretty basic radio it's got a CD player uh, MP it will play mp3 discs and uh, it has satellite radio you got your presets along the bottom you have auxiliary input which is really handy for hooking just about anything up and also since it has Bluetooth you can play music off of a Bluetooth uh, device like say your phone if you got music on it you can play through there so down here your climate controls this is for your front and rear uh, your rear controls you can set it to you can set it to for the people in the back to control it or you can set it yourself uh, up here so you can you know you have that choice this is for your driver this is for your passenger temperature fan speed and where you kind of where you want the air to blow is these buttons here uh, econ it used to say eco but this one says econ I guess it's a little bit more specific to see if you didn't know what eco was it's econ so economy you want to uh, if you really want to save gas you just keep that on all the time and it will um, it kind of you know tell the vehicle to get the best gas mileage I guess you can say but if you really need to go you know, get the, all the horsepower you can turn it off there's your four-way flashers there this is your trash control if you need to turn that off for whatever reason and uh, there's a pocket there right here it goes in there pretty good ways this pulls out and you got two cup holders and some little little indentations to put stuff maybe some change or whatever and down there uh, there's two power supplies and there's a pocket in here as well and uh, it's a little, a little awkward trying to reach in there but I guess it's there now I mentioned the spare tire and right here underneath this cap is a bolt and you unscrew the bolt and it drops a spare tire on the ground so that's where it is here's your uh, basically um, cup holders and little console here very basic and plain um, some storage space underneath it you do have an auto dim rear view mirror which you can turn off by pushing this button you've got tap lights place to put sunglasses here but this also serves as a conversation mirror when you lift it up and drop it like that so now you can kind of keep it on everybody in the back here's the visor it has a mirror with no light Let's see if this side has a light nope it doesn't even have a cover for the mirror and the cover for the mirror is so that way the driver doesn't get disoriented with a mirror like that while they're driving trying to block out the um, the sun that's kind of the reason for the cover so it makes sense to have it on the driver's side and not the passenger side so let's take a look at this window sticker 2015 Grand Caravan SE there's the standard equipment there it goes down scrolls up here and then it starts uh, optional equipment and you can see these are the options that were added to the vehicle and there's the sticker price there's your rate your fuel economy ratings and then your safety ratings I'm gonna copy and paste all this information in the description of this video so that way you can kinda of scroll through it and or search for whatever alright so let's look underneath the hood There you have it, 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, and um, it does have VVT system. It's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty common now for engines to have VVT, which is variable variable valve timing. All the yellow is stuff that you would check on your own. If you're not really familiar with it, cars and engines and stuff, literally you just look for the yellow and you can kind of check and make sure. Um, 
you know, you can kind of learn how to check those things. And um, it's important to kind of know what you're doing because you don't want to open, like, say, the radiator cap while it's hot. Um, it's not yellow, but just, you know, just in case you don't know that, don't, well, don't want to open that up when it's hot. <laughs> so anyways, um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. And in the comment section, I will have my email address in the description. Um, I, I really don't use my uh, phone, the phone number that's in a lot of my older videos. If anybody's trying to call me on those, um, please try to email me instead because I really don't use that number anymore. So if you can just send me an email, I'd really appreciate it. And if you can kind of share my videos with people and kind of um, you know like and subscribe to the channel if you're if you're interested in this kind of stuff, I'd really appreciate it. I'm always interested in improving my videos. So if there's any kind of uh, suggestions or anything that you can let me know how I can improve these videos, um, I will do my absolute best to to try to remember and and try to do uh, what I can to improve them. You know I don't have um, a bunch of money to have like real big. Um, what do you say like say expensive camera equipment and stuff like that but um but you know i mean it, with with the the means that i have i'll do the best i can so and if you want to of course if you want to uh send me a um if you want to help out the channel there is a a, a link now on my page uh, on my channel that you can actually send me some money so if you want to do that that's that's great I, i'd really appreciate it and maybe i could save up to get some nicer cameras and stuff but anyway Appreciate you watching. See you next time.